Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is kind of an abstract way of Canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. So in our bags this month, we have a few things. We've got a small five by seven canvas, so this should be a pretty quick project. Um, definitely you should have enough paints if you've got other canvas um, or have a source for canvas that you wanna pick up. I've got six colors, a white, a purple, um, a matte green, kind of a color shift green, um, a color shift chameleon blue, and then just a darker blue that's actually a mix of a few colors. We have um, a very basic but wider flat brush. Um, and then instead of a palette knife to help us put paint on our canvas, I did just include a plastic um, cutlery knife that we're gonna use. Um, you'll see that I have protected my work surface. This is just a piece of butcher paper I taped down just in case um, my paint gets a little outside my canvas since it's a little smaller. Uh, and I think I might also need a paper towel um, that will help me in cleaning my brush in between. If you have done some of our previous canvas projects and have some of the other brushes, um, maybe not for this small a, con a canvas, but if you were to try this on a bigger size canvas, um, this one would probably work well with this. This is one of our other basic kind of um, square flat brushes, but you see it's just a little wider than the one we've provided. Um, and then we do have these um, a little bit more watercolor brushes. So if you have one of these, this is a really like double the size of the brush we've provided. But on this small of a canvas, um, you would really be taking up a lot of real estate with this particular brush. Um, but it is an option that you have that you'd like to try or use with another um, canvas. So before I really get started with this one, uh, let, let us go ahead and take a look and see what these uh, three different brushes will do. So I just have a canvas panel um, with some of our paints on here and I'm just going to grab a couple of colors. So let's take a look at, let's go biggest to littlest. Um, so I'm going to take my big, I'm going to grab from here. So I've actually got two of the colors on. I'm just going to start from one edge kind of roll through you see that's a very big wave some of that let's come through with some of these other colors white off the end and the same so then now i'm going to come down here and pull through with those other i don't want to go back over the areas i've done very often because then I start just blending that paint together and you don't get those really cool, the lines of all the paint together. So you see that's a really big one for our small canvas for today's project. That's probably a little much, um, but we do have this, if you've got one of these guys, this is a slightly, use it on a few different. So now I've got kind of all my colors and I'm just gonna start in the middle here and I'm just holding the brush down on the canvas and kind of moving in an abstract swirl. Let's get some of my other colors on the back. So there you've really got in there each of the different colors. And there we've got kind of our white. I love these chameleons. These were actually a artist grade um, gloss acrylic paint in a chameleon blue and a chameleon green that I picked up a while back and have just been waiting for the perfect project to use it on. And my brush still has some paint there on the inside. And then as I come back through with other, pick up some of those areas where I might have a little bit more paint. All right, so let's go back to our canvas. I believe I did take the plastic off of everybody's canvas, so she should be basically ready to go. Um, so with our paint palette, we've got all of our little 
buckets. I'm probably going to regret it, actually. Let's go one at a time. So using my knife just as kind of a palette knife, I am going to put my paint in just some several different spots. This will be another time when I will really want my paper towel so I can clean off my knife in between colors. This chameleon blue. I'm gonna go kind of near, near a few of the dots, some by itself. Let's put a little bit up here. I'm gonna kind of leave this particular corner and this particular corner a little clear of paint um, because I want to, I'm planning to come back and put more of my white paint kind of on this side of my canvas. Coming for that green, that chameleon green. Let's get a little more in there. I love this one. Scrape off my excess paint over here into the corner. And with this area, I'm kind of making that almost palette like I had here on my bigger canvas where each color, where I can kind of grab from each color at the same time. All right, green in here. That's, that's, that's. All right. Clean my knife. It's not completely clean. There's still a little bit of paint, but I'm getting, um, I'm not getting as much of other colors into my paints as I might have been. Ooh, it's probably a little much in that corner, but we'll get back to that. Come along here. It's a little close to my white corner, but that's all right. And keeping that white centralized in the few examples that I've made kind of really gives you that like lighter corner. So you'll see here in this one is where I really had um, that extra paint this corner over here, there it is. That's that chameleon as the light changes on it and it really gets to those edges. All right, and I think for the white, I'm actually gonna use the opposite end of my knife so that it's completely clean. All right, so a bunch up here in this corner, a bunch down here in this corner along this edge. I'll dot a few here in the rounds. And you're definitely going to have more paint than this canvas will need. All right, let's clean that off for now. All right, so now I've got my canvas prepped. I've got kind of paints all over. Um, where this, when I first started, you see it's a little bit of a lighter. There's nothing there. I'm going to start dragging, and I am going to give myself some paint on the brush just to start with and I think let's move it this way I'm going to start from this lower corner here and I'm just going to bring through holding my brush pretty flat coming into my other colors pulling that purple in let me go back on itself like kind of that spirally figure eight and I'm not worried about any open spaces that I have because I'll definitely be coming back through for those. Let's grab some of this. And just do a real quick circle there. We'll come around, around. And as I go over some of the other side, you'll get like that depth to the design. And here I am coming into the white and back around. So that really lightens that up. I'm going to bring that right down across. Start from this other corner where I have these other colors. Excellent. And that brings us, oh, I love that purple coming through there. And now I'm also getting some like raised areas where there's more paint 
and that will be a personal choice if you decide to just kind of leave that where it is so that you have kind of a little bit of depth to your painting or that you want to come back through and kind of pull from that so right now my brush is pretty thick with paint because I don't necessarily want to completely get rid of it, I am just going to kind of pull that there. Um, if I had a little bit bigger of a space there, I would probably have just done that to the side of my canvas so that it was right there. And then I'm going to come right back through with a swirl up on itself. Back around. Pulling that blue. And so now you really see I've got kind of a blue. My greens are a little bit more down here in this corner. So I'm going to come back around. And as I said, that kind of big piece of paint that was there, I really just kind of pulled it through. That really looks like kind of a cool geo to me. Got a little bit of a white space here. I come from this corner. I've got this kind of wave design where we got our name for this project from. So that really is your abstract wave design. Personal preference, so I've got a lot of paint on my brush. I don't mind that mixed color now because really this is just the side of the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and come through with a brush stroke across the edges of my canvas, pulling that pile of paint that I had gotten off of my brush from earlier and just using that to go around. I love these canvases because they're a pretty easy handhold to where I'm not necessarily getting a bunch of paint on my hands by painting the edges, but I can go ahead and paint all the way around, giving me that little bit of a block look. Pulling around, getting most of that. There we go. All right. And there we have our abstract canvas wave mixed colors. Hopefully you will be better than me and just kind of call it. It looks amazing, especially after it dries with that chameleon paint. Put it near a light source and you'll probably get some really cool little designs as always thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed this we look forward to seeing your canvas projects share with your public library and we'll see you next time thanks for watching